And we can do it now. So I go this. Into this. Spell shield, deathless. Oh! Oh, the husk. Oh, that's actually important. The husk that I give deathless to is going to come back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you're ready. That kills him. It gets revived. Another thing can't block. <laughs> Happy New Year from Jinx Did Nothing Wrong. We are here. I'll be honest, I don't know what the put the hell. I don't know what the hell to play. Um, so instead, um, I was looking to play a deck in which I just want to make a thumbnail for it. <laughs> So I don't know if it's gonna be this deck or a, a Shadow Isles version. I think Shadow Isles might be a little bit better because then you hit all the, the kill spells and stuff like that. I might want to do it like that, but just to be very unique and quirky, we're gonna go with a uh, the Noxus version and we're gonna be trying some Crimson Banquet because only in this region, one of the combos that my friend was using that I don't think really got enough shine was the Fallen Reckoner combo. So when Mordecai's on the field and you get him out a little bit earlier because you have the Crimson Banquet, uh, you can get this guy out and he will instantly kill himself. When I'm summoning, grant the, the weakest enemy can't block, right? Then you get this guy who is also cheapened and he'll instantly die. When I'm summoning, grant uh, can't block. And when they keep getting summoned, uh, the whole board basically can't block. It's like pretty much done. <laughs> You can't block uh, very quickly, very, very quickly. You can't block with anything. This guy might uh, be seeing uh, maybe like one or two games and might get taken out the deck. Siren Song, same thing. Uh, that's our main combo, so we need to do more draw. I might put more draw in. I just kind of want to see if I can hit a really good, where are you? I, I lost track of him already. <laughs> uh, a really good like keyword on this. So we're running some of the reforgers in this deck. We also have the challenger for some of the other cards. Also, I just want to put Deathless on a husk because I'm worthy, and so are you, so we're gonna do that. Uh, this is gonna be our first uh, video of the year, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Have a happy new year. New Year's resolutions in the comment section below, and without further ado, we are on the road to 3K! <laughs> Let's do it. All right, we are here. Um, hopefully the music doesn't interfere. I, I kinda forgot I saw my stream settings up because we were streaming the other day. Hope you guys check out the streams when they go live. Why is this in my hand? Do we have time to set this up is the question. I can bounce one of these back. Keep the Siren Song. Maybe we play it on three. Uh, turn three. Might not be that bad of an idea. Get uh, Steam. Oh my god, it's my dream come true. What are the odds he does anything these next two turns? And he does have the right, but you know. I could play this, but no. Oh no, where's my emotes? Oh boy. Pass. That's what I'm talking about. You fool. Siren Song is back, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at, what, look at what, what's about to happen to this man. I can also give this Deathless. So we come back and I would get it twice, but I don't see the purpose of doing that. <laughs> All right, so let's see what else we got here. It's a pretty quick game so far, so. I wish I had something else that creates a. Something else that creates a, like, a husk outside of Steam. Alright, so we got uh, more damage. We can give a, a husk more damage and then kill it. And he's going straight for the juggler. That's fine with me. Good thing we didn't play uh, some of our other better units. I'm. I'm Definitely surprised by the lack of husk here. There we go. We can do this into the revive guy. Oh, I wish I can get that on uh, steamy, steamy weemy here. We can also use hate spike and then put that on this guy, and that would be a real royal pain in his ass. Also, I could add it on this guy too. Okay. Can't be mad at that. He's blowing his cards. These are slaves, and uh, next turn is. 
Ya boy. There it is, deathless elusive. I wish I can keep the keywords if it, it when it comes back and stuff like that. Uh that gives him two slaves, but if I deny it, I get two slaves. I feel like he's playing like he has. It's gonna kill him anyway. I might as well deny his slaves. I feel like that's just the smarter way to do it. I will have revenge. I come back with challenger. Regen is phenomenal for our, our lovely boy here. I think we uh, go regen and uh, put the Deathless on it and then put the Steam on it. Or we just do it for Evelyn. Oh my god. Uh, if I could have... That's so greedy. I'm not going to be that greedy. I, I Actually, I can't do both of these either. I'm too used to Path of Champions. Uh, I think we just take the damage. Can't give it a bigger boost though. I'm always ready to play. Ooh, and which is cool is that this is basically like a I know you try to kill me, but it doesn't matter. I probably should have did something a little more painful. I think in hindsight, I think I should have waited. Because he's clearly throwing all his clear spells. He he showed crumble. He showed a bunch of his other spells. I think he has is trying to get okay. That does it. That's definitely not the crumble spell. Uh, the crumble line, anyway. I hope he doesn't do anything here. It would be really good. He would have crumbled the the undying. Now we can at least protect. Right. So I could play this. Boom! Amazing keywords here. Ready for a little flish splash, Steve. I also could have put Deathless on one of the husks first and then did that. But I'd rather leave this as a what bam surprise. We can actually pull this. Uh, okay. Either he's really happy or he's gonna pull the. He, he actually has the mana for the realm. Ruination. So damn, I really should have did that play, dude. That play would have been awesome. It's more important to have her to come back. Damn, I would have got two units back, dude. That would have been sick. No keywords here, though. That halts my entire play. If that would have got... You know what? If there was Spell Shield, maybe that would have definitely been the play. I have a feeling that uh, Papa Gnosis is coming, though. That was a lot of slays. Uh, he hasn't done any draw. And he's just been pinging me over and over again. Like two teams a Sunday. Uh, Challenger. This and Challenger is pretty good, but. Where's your lively better half, love? Waiting on her meal, ma'am. Best get to it. Alright, he's leveled. No draw really in this deck, though. He's still playing small. Uh, let's see. I can give this. This is a big hit. Ready for a little splish splash steam? Always Eve. But you know that. Literally one of the worst, like, decks for us to play, if I'm being honest. Like, it's it just can kill her. I, I just tapped under uh, Evelyn Mana, like her champion spell. I should have kept that up just for the illusion of being able to stop it. But the crazy part is that I still have the illusion of being able to uh, do the Deathless spell, right? So three mana up in verse Noxus, you can always, you have to be a little bit careful. Oh, they might be able to do it. Kill this instead of that. That's kind of interesting. But she's so easy to kill. He is running out of cards, though. But he is getting close to the round where he can actually do the uh, thing. And then I'm pretty screwed. All right, we got a big thing here. What do we draw into? That's not what I need. The three are unrivaled. Look at that. I just like how cheap this guy is. And uh, what is it? If I look at his natural, right? So with one Crimson Banquet, I actually can play him, which is pretty nuts. He's gonna have to kill that. Oh, wow. 
Again, if I had the champion, that, that's such a risk, but I think it's a risk worth taking. I think we've pushed 10 damage. A lot of his spells are slow speed, so. Put him on a two turn clock. Challengers are so good, especially against like a lot of other decks that would be pretty good. I'm just gonna play this. In case he does kill it, we'll be really good. I'm looking obviously for like Overwhelm. Even Quick Attack would be insane. Another kill. Two cards left in hand. We're in a really good spot here because he still has not found his uh, thing. I think keeping a uh, mystery in the hand is pretty good. Plus, the only deathless revive unit that's coming out is this. So, and no, uh, no Mordecai's reverse. No. Oh, he only has Gnosis in his deck. Carry your own gear. What do we get? We got quick attack. Hey, no shadows in here, friend. Overwhelm, pretty good. Can't develop here. Mordekaiser is here. Stand aside, I'll be cut down. One candle. Rekindle. Oh, I feel the pain, buddy. I do. I really do. Rekindle everything except Gnosis. Everything except Gnosis. We just need to get the attack off here. I guess this guy didn't see anything. I was I was kind of hoping to get like Challenger on one of these other things. I can still Challenger both the other cards. I have Quick Attack in hand. We should, I think, win here, especially once I attack. Mordekaiser, he has to kill Mordekaiser, of course. But again, if this was the other spell, he knows this is uh, what other spell, so he kills this. I think that's a mistake. Killing this is actually kind of a mistake, too. Not gonna lie. Because killing this gives him back the equipment and then he has that big thing. So attacking with more units, I wouldn't even push that much damage. So we just pull the Rekindler. <laughs> so he can attack with that one card if he wants to, but he needs to get this off of his unit in order to utilize the other guy. This is so late in the game. That's cute. We hold this and pretend like we got an answer. Instant pass, like, bro, do your combo, it's fine. He blew a lot of his big cards early. Um... I am eternal. You are not. Shut up, Mordekaiser. So he gets this back, right? I'm praying for the combo. If I can get the combo here, it would be literally the best thing in the world. He gets this back, but he can only use the, the equipment part of it again. But if we would have killed this other unit the last time, he would have put it and then he would attack and he would have got Rekindler and all these other stupid ass units. Which I, may not have been that crazy, because... Who? Oh, talk to him. He has Fearsome though. I, I didn't have like another Fearsome. Did I have another? I think I did actually. Uh, but I, 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 I gotta play it safe. Okay. We pull this guy. And then what we get. If I get the combo, I do not get the combo. I get Evelyn, but Evelyn in uh in this mode actually doesn't um You shall be Is that better? Seven. I get impact, but I'm at the mercy of some of his way better um, spells.
All right. I think he should kill this. That time, that act, that's actually his fault. He actually had the ability, unless he has another one in hand. But he should have killed this so he could use it, so he could use the spell. His luck would be like Evelyn, something. I need, I need something. So clear. Okay, so he has the ability to do it anyway. He's also gonna refill his hand, which is really good for him. So it was good to to do the attack. So without Shadow Owls, I don't have the ability to really kill off my cards. Is what I'm seeing. I also realized that based on the attack, I, he would have more blockers though, but no, but I would have, I would have drained. I actually had lethal here. I, I had lethal here. I forgot that she would have got two impact. Plus it would have been like, she would, he wouldn't have had a really good blocker for this. He keeps using this. He keeps, he keeps, he keeps throwing like I'm throwing. So I, I don't mind it. He also can't like attack sloppily either, unless he kills, uh, no, it actually doesn't matter if he kills Mordekaiser. It's not attached to him. So he's going for a big attack here. He's going for it, but as soon as I trade with literally anything, it's over. Uh, look at that. These guys are big, but I just need to kill them. Unless you can put them off to the side. Oh my god, Brick City is here. Oh, you just... Okay. Time to die. Let that go through. I don't know what card he could have that could like stop this, but as soon as this triggers or this one triggers, it's over. Okay. Every time he's done that, it's insane that he does that, and I don't have the uh, <laughs> I don't have the the champion spell. He's like he's gotten away with murder this entire time. And I think all he has is okay. Finally, and watch, we're gonna draw the thing when they all can't block. Okay, it doesn't matter now. Does he have another kill spell? Do I play that he drew another kill spell and not develop one more unit? Actually, what am I talking about? This is lethal. That's lethal by itself. I lied. I'm so bad at the game. I had to. I had to play this first. Damn, bro, why'd you do that? I'm so, I feel so bad for you. I feel so bad for you, bro. That's so sad. He drew Rekindless, he threw like everything he needed to draw. Doesn't matter which one he kills. Damn, bro. He did have the Vengeance though, so the solo attack was bad. So I did play that correctly, I just needed to play. I forgot that the, the Husk triggers first. Yes. Is this deck still doing the Lord's work, Nora Elder? Uh, no denies. And then the Crimson Banquet I really like as well. Um, and then we have that into Evelyn the following turn. Kinda like the Reforge guy too, cause he's low mana. Like, this is like my turn three, turn four, and now I actually have double Evelyn. So if he has a, in this deck, I think most of the time it's a slow start unless they draw those up. Oh my God, if I can get something spicy on him. If I can get something spicy on that guy. Conch, that's fine. What wondrous discoveries await below? Dude. I don't think he can outvalue me. That sucks. That does suck. All right, basically I need um, to do the Lord's work before like the, the Broadman comes out. He's blowing his mana. 
And I definitely want to play Evelyn next turn because Evelyn's gonna put like two husks on the field and then I, I drop the steam, right? And then after that, I could probably drop him. And Tough is really good. And he's gonna have a hard time, especially like uh, Tough is amazing for Evelyn because those little low mana pings are not gonna do anything. Not gonna do a damn thing. Oh my god, we actually have the combo here. We just need, um. We just need, uh, Mordekaiser. That is a thick Evelyn. Giggity. Alright, I don't see how this deck outside of, outside of like mini morph, right? Eat the stun. That's perfect. You should have saved that. It's, uh, maybe he doesn't have broad main in the in the hand. I actually really shouldn't attack though, because if he has a spell that does two damage, then I he has a way to kill it. Um, or he, like I said, he might just be rocking the mini morph. Mini morph in hand that might be a tell to mini morph. He also could have those other cards and just ramping them up, just throw the spells. That's the only thing I think that is bad about the deck. It's like you just throw spells at everything. You like you're not really like strategizing at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh my god. Playing both is a little risky for certain stuff, but now that I know that um, the way the order that it goes in, I think we do this so we can get double husk again. Ready for a little fish splash, Steve? Always easy. You know that. Lights out. That's amazing. So we're gonna get elusive. Damn. I do have to be a little bit careful. Like I said, I, he's getting into the mana where I do have to eventually keep mana up for uh, the caress. Another one. He ha he maybe has the burbel fish and stuff like that. Burbel fish maybe can give him a two damage spell. If I can luck out and maybe get a. That's why I think maybe Shadow Off still just seems like it's a better option. But, uh, because then I can kill a Huss at, like, like fast speed. He, I don't think, and I've, I've messed around with this card. The problem that is that sometimes you draw into it, and you pretty much destroy your tempo, I should say. Damn, I, I needed something a little bit better than that. Oh, more daddy is here. The combo is here. Um, like I said, I want to keep it up. Just in case. She's not transformed here yet. Don't want to use this yet. Obviously, we want to use it with Mordekaiser. Because then it locks up his entire board. I can actually play both because Mordekaiser can survive the double hits. And then these are cheaper, the combo's a little bit easier to do. He actually passes here, which is kind of interesting. Don't want to kill this as of yet. Ah, uh, technically killing it actually would have been pretty good though. Oh, dear. Hindsight being hindsight. Mordekaiser can also. There it is. Noxians are not the monsters they make us out to be. And of course he gets deathless, because why not? Since I didn't play a unit here, Evelyn is not leveled, so I can't do anything to that play. So he does get that off. I think he survives here, right? Or do I want to give all that to Mordekaiser? I 
Actually, it allows me to kill it. So yeah, these trigger first. And I get a quick attack thing for the next husk, which is really good. I could just use it now, actually. So that can give it that. We get another husk. So it's a little bit weaker, easier to kill. Now she's a f now I have this. I'm um, probably fine now. Oh, regen is amazing. So he gave me the GGs there. He definitely GG'd me there. Cool thing about Mordekaiser is that you actually don't even need to. Um, you don't need to kill two units so so let's say he actually damages Evelyn I could go through the process of uh, just killing her off we are all seeking an end to war friends that's kind of pointless this thing dies no matter what I do right because it's, it's not attached to the unit. So, kind of pointless. He's vulnerable for one for one tick though, which is kind of annoying. But then we pop off like right afterwards. I'll go for it. Does he have another uh, spell? I'm pretty sure he does, though. I wish that... Hell no. Let me regen, baby. Come on. Yes! Yes! Okay. Deathless is just... Oh, the, the top deck of gods right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you're ready. That kills him. It gets revived. Another thing can't block. <laughs> you better start ticking, bro. <laughs> it's, it's time to start ticking. Now, this guy comes as a three-cost card in your hand, and he's now one cost. So now I'm going to get a, two of these. And yeah, so your whole board's about to be locked up, my friend. <laughs> you better do something. Do something. <laughs> Verbal fish. So he's been trying to play spell. I, I feel like he's been playing more spells than that. He gets challenge and impact. He needs he needs something that does one tick damage. Because as Mordekaiser says, boom, you can't block. Two only two things can block now. <laughs> He also can't play another Broadman. These are the two uh, so far in his deck, so I could pull one. These also have Overwhelm as well. We also have the Evelyn spell to literally just take out one of these units. I don't need to do anything to that. If I was in another region, that would be fine too. This, I think, kills it. But then he brings it back stunned, right? Very low on cards. He has one blocker and one uh, thing that's ephemeral as well. What is killing this dude? I think I go for it, right? We 
take out his other broodman here. Oh, wait, actually, uh, Mordekaiser revives it. It's not deathless. It's not deathless. That was bad on me. Uh, not bad, but... So, right now... Not enough damage. But... Oh, my God. It, it, it hit me with the reversal. We replace this. He kills it. It kills itself, but Mordekaiser revives it. Oh! Yeah, damn. Get my eight three back. Now I can um. Now I have an extra puller. And now it's gonna deal damage. Damn, this deck just got decimated, dude. Now it's lethal. That's it. That's, isn't that more damage? Yeah. Wahoo! But bye now. <laughs> he could have the sun card though. He could have another sun card. He does not, ladies and gentlemen. Decimated Nora Elder. Jesus. Destroyed. Okay. Elder Dragon went and got the homies. He said, I'm tired of messing with the I'm tired of messing with the wife. I need to chill with the homies. To be fair, both matches I did get uh Siren Song off. So I think we just go away with you. Hopefully we get something decent. We don't. But at least we get to have fun in this one, and that's going to be me having the absolute fun by putting Deathless on a husk. <laughs> We do have Mordekaiser as well here. We do have the double Evelyn Star for ultimate shenanigans. Warm your body, warm your soul. Warm the soul. Spell shield. Opts not to attack here. I want to keep Spell Shield. If anything, I would um, hate Spike right now. And then, no, I hate Spike, I couldn't do it. I want a Deathless and then use it on Evelyn so she gets both. This is Grant, so theoretically I could have used it now. But if he has something to ping it and then take this off, then I'd be a sad, a sad panda. So I don't want to do it. I want to keep Spell Shield and Deathless. But give it to, give it to her. So boom, he passes here too. We have another Deathless as well. Keep the cycle going. And he's actually gonna do what I didn't want him to do. This way I get, he gets to still draw one. I get two husk instead of just one. I also could have just said screw it and then just played Evelyn and then I would have had her champion spell on his back up here. Um, but I think if we get a good hit here, we'll be in a good spot. Uh, why would you invest more? You're not even killing the unit. You're literally just doing that for spell shield. Yeah, I wouldn't invest more. Personally, I wouldn't invest more into this. But Spell Shield is important, and it does tell him that I'm most likely trying to play Evelyn here. It does tell him that a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so he opts to not do that. I think I get... Don't I still get the Husk? Yeah, I still get the Husk. Lovely. Mind if I slip into something a little more painful? There we go. Another spell shield, which is obnoxious. That is so obnoxious. 
if she... Oh yeah, we have that too. Uh, that's an easier way to give her deathless, huh? <laughs> Just give it to her in hand. Another Mordekaiser. And we can do it now. So I go this. Into this. No more mud for me. No way. Spell shield, deathless. Oh. Oh, the husk. Oh, that's actually important. The husk that I give deathless to is going to come back. I should have gave. Oh, wait a minute. I should have gave deathless to the the spell shield one. And then I now I can give it quick attack. That would have been way smarter. I could push more damage here. I just want to kill one of his units. Plus, I get this unit back anyway. This unit comes back, and I get another reforge. Allow me. This is the trueness of the deck here. Deathless on these resummonable summonable, summonable, summonable units to give me more value. Same thing with uh, giving me uh, more the reforge, more husk. That's what the deck is supposed to be doing. So now I can give Overwhelm and Quick Attack to a Husk with one mana. Suck up the Husk. Ooh. This is this is where it's at. I think this has been, what is it? I think they do Riven Mordekaiser and try to do something like that. But this is like a, a way to do it almost like, I feel like almost a little bit earlier. And I can create the Blade of Exile as well. Right? So, like, this is insane. Very low committal. So right now, I can give it Quick Attack, Overwhelm. If, if this wasn't a deck that just kills things, I would do it in a heartbeat. But I would need um, Deathless Backup to do that. What a strong turn that would be, right, though. Holy shit. But he still has banner for a lot of kill spells. Can't do it. Going for draw. He's probably looking for one of his six costs here. To drop. If he drops a six cost unit, I will do it though. We don't have any good targets for Mordecai, so when he comes out though, he does. And it's Viego. Viego, ladies and gentlemen, Viego is six costs. If you didn't know. He also has Deathless and he has Fearsome. That's really cool. So it doesn't matter which one, because I'm not giving Deathless again. Uh, so, boom. Oh my lord. Look at that thing. I'll take the 8 damage in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'll take the 8 damage in a heartbeat. Good luck killing this. And I do have uh, Deathless backup. And uh, if he tries to do anything to... Like, like this unit is super super... I, I would attack. Another elusive. We got the Crimson Banquet here. That kills Viego. Yes, I bite. If I were to summon a unit here, it would get elusive, right? So that would be GG, right? Eight, unless he had a way to kill that, right? Eight, 13, and then Mordekaiser's damage. But what does he have in hand? Is the question. The tension is unbearable he needs an insta kill spell for that though do I say he doesn't have a kill spell in hand I'm going for the the glory this is actually as a as lethal he has to respond to this like he can't not do anything he only has seven mana. 
So he can't do no AoE clear or anything like that. He can kill maybe one unit, and he has to choose between this thing, which will kill his Viego, reset him, or Mordekaiser. Um, I think you kill Mordekaiser, and then you you let your Viego come back. No, he kills this. My reputation. Understandable. I love it when they scream. So these things are permanently uh, elusive, though, so... A great combo too. Ah, there it is. Now this Viego is going to be significantly easier to kill. But killing this Viego at the same time would make it. Oh, what do you got? Tough. Also has the pulse keys. Right? So, what would he pull? He can't pull either of these. It, it does nothing for him. He hasn't killed that much. I have more deaths than he does. Um, he can attack with... His attack is not that strong. We have full HP here. I think we go low committal. I probably should have just used that on this so it can block that. <laughs> he takes the husk. That's funny. This attack is garbage. <laughs> it's it's not good. So, she regens, right? Shut up and scream. And then that kills that. I don't, do I care about that is the question. Actually, that is bad because uh, he can easily kill this uh, uh, Mordekaiser's on the on the field. If he had a response, I could have used that. And now I don't have my spell shield. Okay, not one of my best moments. Um, I think I have to save the spell uh, thing here. If I kill this, I get uh, this. It summons itself, and then I get the thing. But I might need to use uh, me mana for a deathless play here. He surrendered. Oh, baby, 3-0. and oh. I had a lot of plays there. I had a lot of plays. Let's go. Um, This deck works somehow. I think there's def definitely different ways to play the deck. I think you guys could definitely change it up a little bit. Um, as you saw, Siren Song is great, but you definitely don't need it. Uh, you saw the Fallen Reckoner combo. Um, it it's I thought it was more expensive. It's definitely you want to re keep free printing the 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 other card, the five two that comes out, or you reprint the other one and then that gives you that one mana card as you guys saw. It's really strong. Uh, has a lot of different ways to do stuff. I think the Shadow Isles version would probably be better, but I just wanted to try this out, right? Uh, the ability to use the reforging on the husk, and then the husk give the give the unit something strong. Yes, you can use the Shadow Isles to do the Deathless, but we have other really more important keywords here. We have Overwhelm uh, and Quick Attack to give to pretty much any unit uh, with the husk, and then do that. So I, I kind of wanted to show a different combo here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.